Hey, thank God you're okay. I've been calling you. Where have you been? Oh, is Dad here? Is, is he here? Is yeah, he? honey, what? Where is he? What? What's going on? We have to go. What? We have to leave. We have to go. Betty! You made it home. <sighs> Your dad has some crazy idea to show us old home movies. I figured we'd indulge him since we're practically on lockdown anyway. What's wrong? Well, I'm just happy we're all here as a family. Sit down, Betty. I think you're really going to enjoy this. Now remember, I'm making this movie so we never forget what your daddy sacrificed for us. You do love your daddy, don't you, Harold? Yes, Mom. And you want your daddy to keep living with us? Yes, Mom. I don't understand. What are we watching? Is that you, Hal? It is. Your daddy did something very noble, Harold. He took care of that Conway family. They were sinners. And what happens to sinners? Sinners have to die. Oh, my God. What is this, a snuff film? Shut the hell up, Alice, for once in your life. That's right. Now, that little Conway boy who survived... They're gonna ask him who killed his family. He needs to point out somebody, anybody, but not Daddy. Because we don't want Daddy to be taken away from us, do we? No, I love my Daddy. So you have to help him. Make sure when they ask the Conway boy who he saw kill his family, make sure he doesn't say Daddy. Can you do that, Harold? Convince him? I think so. You're a good boy, Hal. Your father let him escape, but you? You will do better. You must do better. Take out your tape recorder, Alice. I need you to record this. The Conways. That was the family that was murdered 40 years ago? Yes. Oh, my God. Take it out! And I want to tell my story. No, our story. First, to clear something up, your great-grandpappy Cooper wasn't murdered by his brother like some dog. He was the killer. He killed great-grandpappy Blossom and then took on the Cooper name to create a new identity for himself. For us. What does that have to do with the Conways? The Conways knew our secret. Mr. Conway blackmailed my father, your grandpappy. So Grandpa killed them? They were sinners, Betty. Even the children? Well, there was one survivor, the Conway's boy, Joseph. Mr. Svensson, who you convinced to accuse an innocent man. Joseph was easy to manipulate as a boy and as a man. What are you telling us, Hal, that... That I have a darkness, Alice. The same darkness my father had, the same darkness his father had. And now it lives in Betty. Our daughter. <laughs> Who am I, Betty? Say it. Say who I am! Mr. Andrews, you killed Miss Grundy, the sugar man, Midge, Dr. Masters. But the debate it was not me. I can't take credit for that. <laughs> 